I got a John Deere 955. I love it. Everything works great on it, but I need hooks. So I'm going to put hooks on the bucket so I can pull a tree over or lift something with the chain and I'll show you how I've done it and how I'm going to do it. Okay, here's what I'm doing. I went to Harbor Freight and I got a couple of these chain hooks, Clevis chain hooks. And <clears throat> instead of buying these, they're expensive, I just cut this off and ended up with this. I got two of these in a packet for $4.25. So that seemed logical to me. And as you can see, I just cut this off. And I had these steel plates laying around. And I'm going to put one underneath and one on top with the hook welded on top and bolt it together and I'll get more area this way than some of the ones for sale that I've seen online I've got kind of a thin deck on my bucket and this will give it more strength so I'm gonna go ahead and weld that up you can see I've got one ready to go I'm gonna weld that up and uh, put it on the bucket and I'll show you how I do it Okay, I uh, welded the hook to the plate and let's go over to the bucket and install. As you can see, I've lined the plate up with uh, where the arms of the front end loader connect to the bucket for maximum strength. And I just put a C clamp on there. You can see this thing is good and secure, and I'll go ahead and drill the holes. I've got a 7 16 inch drill bit. You could use half inch holes, whatever. These will be plenty strong. Alright, I've got them marked. I'm going to take the plate off and drill the holes. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. hurt if your bucket's thicker to throw a little oil in there keep your drill bit from going dull I'm gonna dry fit them and then paint them and install them I'll put a washer on the top and then a washer on the bottom and a lock washer because I don't have lock nuts plate will go on the bottom, washer, lock washer, and then a nut. That's it. There they are, dry fitted. I'll paint it, and then, uh, Mount it. Alright, it's a little carried away, but I take some alcohol and a towel and just wipe this off to get any grease off it. And here's the paint I'm going to use. <clears throat> Bed liner. That's what I use on my bucket. And I've had very good success with it. You saw my bucket, it's a little beat up, but I'm hauling rocks and dirt and it holds up pretty good. Okay, it's time to mount the chain hooks and the bolts that I had were just a little bit long. As you can see, the one on the left is an inch and a half and I need about an inch and a quarter. So I cut them back 
and uh, I made a video on how to do that. The reason that I did that is when I bolt this on, as you can see I've got one in there just temporarily, I don't want that sticking through at the bottom because I'm going to paint it. And these are fine threads and I don't want to mess up the threads or have them sticking out and not be able to get the nut off. So I wanted them the same length as the end of the nut when I tighten them up. And you'll see that after we get mounted. You can use hardened bolts for this. It'll be stronger, but this isn't going anywhere and I have these, so. And I'll show you why I cut the bolts. Ended up right at the end of the nut. I'm going to paint this so it doesn't rust, any moisture gets there. And if I need to remove those nuts, that paint, nothing's going to get in the way of binding up those threads. These are fine threaded bolts that I used. And because of that, they can get gummed up a little bit, but they are stronger than a coarse threaded bolt. I'm going to rub it down with rubbing alcohol and then spray it with the truck bed liner. If this video was a help to you, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to helping you with other projects online.